You could say I've been working for this since February 2020, since I came so close in Seville. The sub 3.30 was on, and then it wasn't, a lesson learned in terms of training and racing. And then came Covid and moving to another country. But this, this is the culmination of months of hard work, of no runs missed, consistency at its best. But no marathon is easy, no marathon is a certainty to even finish. If I want sub 3.30 today, then I'm going to need all of my training, all of my experience and some luck. Nearly three years after Seville, I'm going again. The Bangkok Marathon. In 30 degree heat, nearly 100% humidity and at 1am. If it's going to happen, we're going to have to do this the hard way. So, how are you feeling? It's been a crazy week and there's lots to unpick. Can you talk, talk me through what you were feeling on the start line? Start line, I felt good. I felt excited. I felt ready. I felt pretty confident. I, I was actually looking forward to putting it all out there and I could see it going to plan. <laughs> conversations that the first 5k was going to be crucial and I was totally focused on reining it in, holding back, making sure I stick to pace which was 5 minutes or 4.55 maximum speed. I felt quite hyped up and quite kind of pumped for early on and I thought it was just early race nerves, I just need to settle so I decided the first 5k was all about finding a rhythm and settling in at the right pace. First check in, 4.8 kilometers at the moment. So coming up to five, making use of the lighting. Okay, so my aim for the first five was to calm down and rein in my pace. So I've done that, I've nailed the pacing. It's pretty hot, so my heart rate it's a little bit higher than I'd hoped, but I'm just gonna keep it on my pace and hopefully it will stay settled. Okay, that was 5K in 24.44. So, right on pace, about 4.55 per kilometer. Just gotta stay in this zone now, it's easy. So you got through 5k, it was starting to get hot, your heart rate was going high. What was what was running through your mind, say, between 5k and 15-ish k? Um, I was just thinking, okay, I'm not settled yet, I'm not into a rhythm yet, it will come. I'm ready for this, uh, the training's gone to plan, this is just, I just need a bit longer to settle down. So I was just thinking, stay calm, keep focused on the pace, it will click soon. Just coming up to 10k, sticking to pace, doesn't feel as easy as I would have liked, but I'm trying to keep hot, trying to keep calm, keep positive, remembering my good training runs, remembering that I'm ready for this, this feels hot, heart rate feels high, hang on pace but long way to go. Through 15 came 119. Still waiting to find my rhythm. Not clicking yet. The lead runners are already on their way back. Insane. Hope Ben's faring a bit better than me. And when it didn't start to click, uh, what were you thinking? What was running through your mind? Because you, from the video, it looks like you kind of know that it's not working out for you at this point. Yeah, I was just really confused and actually the longer the time went on and I wasn't finding the rhythm the more my panic rose 
and I actually started to feel super anxious between 10 and 15K. I, I knew at that point it wasn't clicking, it just wasn't my day and everything really went downhill at that point. I've been really struggling. Just had a break to try and get my heart rate down. Half marathon in 1.46, so off the pace. Heart rate sky high, not feeling good. 25K in, 204. Not doing my sub 330 today. Um, I, uh, it's been a struggle from maybe 5k and I actually started to get really anxious, thought I was going to be sick, started to shiver, pains in my shoulder and felt really bad. Uh, I was thinking about, I'm just going to walk, tell you this story, I was thinking about having to quit and that was it, I thought that was it. I saw Ben, he looks really strong. I said, I don't think I'm gonna make it. And then I thought, well, it's just not my day. My heart rate was 180 and like 15K. So all I'm doing now is I'm just gonna try and finish and try and enjoy it because I was hating every step. And I just thought, God, I haven't worked this hard to be like on the verge of tears and vomiting for three and a half hours why don't I just try and enjoy this like a nice long run and get a medal at the end that's what I think is a better story so I'm gonna make myself proud get to that finish line without ending myself and I saved my PB for another day. My stomach was cramping, I was just feeling awful. Actually, this bit is a bit of a blank, to be honest. I'm trying to remember, but I don't know if I've blocked it out. But at some point between 15 and 21, I decided to quit. It wasn't gonna happen, and I felt like I was gonna do myself damage. I really didn't feel good. I felt really panicked, I felt quite unwell, and I decided I needed to stop, so I planned to stop at an ambulance. And um, why didn't you stop? I don't know, I couldn't, I tried. I stopped at a water station and stopped running, stopped my watch, um, was drinking water, I was getting cramp, and then I could see an ambulance ahead, so I planned to stop at that ambulance and quit and get a lift back somehow. And But I didn't, I just ran past the ambulance because in my head I was like, well, I've made it here, I'll just keep going on to the next one. Um, and I don't know what it was, but something in me would not let me quit. Okay, I just met Daniel. Hey. He's having a great run. He's yeah, keeping his heart rate, heart rate around 150, so doing better than me. <laughs> yeah, but we were just saying the main thing is to have fun, so. Have fun. Yeah. Fun fun. That's what it's all about. Oh my God, this is going so badly. I'm trying to have fun. I've got such a bad stitch. 27.6 kilometers, 15 to go. So I'm just trying to think it's a long run, but I'm really in pain. Um, oh, bloody car. Yeah, just trying to hold it together. Even if I have to walk. Um, really not my day today. Uh, none of my training runs are this bad. It just wasn't right from the start. My heart was pumping like, I felt really anxious. Um, it was horrible. Oh, I can't believe it. It's happened on the day. I can't believe it. Oh well. Yeah, I think I'd switch my mindset earlier, I think around 25K, I'd already had to walk and I knew I wasn't gonna make the time and actually I was at the point where I was like, what does time matter? If I can, even if I have to walk, if I complete a marathon, this is an amazing thing. So um, when, when I thought I was gonna quit, I was thinking about how I tell the people that knew I was running why I hadn't finished and nothing felt right so I was like even if I have to walk I'll finish because 
that's the story I would want to hear from somebody and that's what I want that's the kind of thing I want to share so I decided whatever it takes I would finish and that really helped my mindset really sorry I've not been able to film I've been in agony uh, my stomach has been cramped for well, since pretty early in the race really it's just got worse and worse so I can't take gels I'm trying to run as much as I can but this was the moment I was looking forward to running over this bridge my favorite bridge in Bangkok the Rama 8 bridge so I decided to capture it on film still epic that I'm running a marathon around Bangkok in the middle of the night just can't wait to see Benny I might, I might be able to finish in under four hours which will be a huge achievement all things considered so see you at the finish and then by the last 5k it was complete agony and I was just holding on to anything that could keep me going my legs were cramping I was getting them sprayed with muscle relaxant um, yeah I was just putting one foot in front of the other I got a smile for getting this incredibly Grim fest seen off. And what was your finishing time in the end? Actually not 100% sure but I think it was 352 something. And how do you feel about that on reflection now? I feel really proud. I feel really proud that I finished that race. Um, I am disappointed that I didn't get the goal that I've been working towards because it's kept me so motivated and I knew I'd given it everything. So, But I kind of processed that between 15 and 25k. And now I just feel really proud that I crossed that finish line, smiling. And you know, the one thing I will say is this will happen for you. Sub 3.30 will happen. You know that, right? You've been running it in training. It will happen. You know that, right? Yeah. You know that, right? <laughs> I can't imagine it right now because I actually haven't run a marathon that hasn't felt like hell and I haven't fallen apart. But I know, I know it's in there. I just still can't quite imagine the feeling. And even though it was hard to process in the moment, when I reflect on this 352, I'm proud. It would have been easier to quit, and I didn't. It would have been easier to be negative. I wasn't. I will run a sub 330. It's when, not if. Now, I just go back to the process and work hard again. I just want to say thank you so much for your support and positivity and encouragement. It means a lot. If you do want to see me nail a race, then here is my first ultra marathon 50k exposure event, which was a very good day. Thank you. And we'll see you Sunday. <laughs>